so it is working now to work with the Vue.js what we need to do here is that we need to say create a new view instance to create a new instance you define it like this new view and inside it you pass whatever you want to do so if I say here data I can't do that but before that we need to uh, bind this view instance to some element where we want to use our view so we say element and element is going to be the ID of app you can give any name it depends on you whatever you want to do so here what I do I say ID uh, sorry it's going to be ID app so this ID of app is going to be uh, working with this view instance now now if I go in data and here I say let's say title and I put this movie app or let's let's change the title project all right so as we are using Vue.js we should be able to display this app and I'm gonna paste this we're gonna go there we refresh we get it so this is how you put it you have yeah, two mustaches and an add sign so we have this variable in the view instance and it's displaying there now we need to go into the uh, movie db uh, application first of all here you can see that we can get whatever we want they they are giving us the url for it and uh, um, they also mentioned like if we want it page, page by page we can use this way you can use this with many of the languages all the listed here we're using javascript php whatever you prefer you can do that now for right now what i'm going to do for the popular movies so in view uh, we have some life cycle methods so i'm going to use one of those so i'm going to say created and what happens is it is created once this view instance creates it fires automatically so in the app if we go to uh, the movies and then here you know, if you look for get popular so here uh, it is giving us the example what kind of code it's going to provide us so we are like uh, we're going to get the object like this so this api supports uh, supports json data so i have a code that i'm going to put here yeah so from before that i need to create a few variables uh let's create a single variable first so i'm just going to say here that we have an article because uh, these are going to be articles so i simply create an article paste inside this code now let me open this now here if you see sync true then we have url api and we're getting a trending movie cell in a language is in english and uh, we are providing the page number as well at the end we are getting it and header we are passing the token here so here is the API key uh, you can't see it because I'm hiding it and as well as the token uh, you need to get it from the website and whatever we are getting we are putting into the uh, variable so to use the articles we generally call this dot articles like the property but if we are using inside function we can uh, when we are not getting access to we can say who are self is equal to this so using this we can use this inside so here i say uh, when we get the response put the response results in the articles and console.log now we don't have page number uh, presently set up as a variable so we need to set up as a let page number is equal to one so that is going to get everything from the first page so if I save this and we go to our application and refresh the page, uh, we get an array, an array of records you can see here. And if you can open any of these records, we get some content. We have adult, backdrop path, gender IDs, media type. Now we can access these values and we can display these values on our page. So in Vue.js, we are going to use the loop for that. We already defined it and uh, gave this value to this articles array. Uh, I get an array here. Now, in here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say 
div with the class over up. And inside that div, I'm going to create a div with the class. Then div with the uh, class of card body. Now this card and card body, this end row, this is bootstrap classes, just to give it a feel of good designing. And what I'm going to do here is in card, I'm going to run the loop. So I'm going to say here v4, v-4 is equal to, and we're going to say article in articles. We need to provide a key, and key is going to be index. Now we don't have index right now, so we need to put comma index in here. All right. Now here I put article. You should see some value if everything's working just fine. Yeah, page and refresh. Uh, you can see that we're getting some data here. It's just printing the data straight straight away because. Uh, we just uh, pasted the article. Now, if I want to get particular thing out of it, I just need to copy here, and I can say dot, and that, that's it. So now I just need to put the names. So if there is a name, it is going to give out the output for it. So I'm not going to do the designing in here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to one of the website where it's ND Bootstrap. So we are going to get a predefined uh, uh, card from here, and it's going to save a lot of time for us. So we go to component and then cards. There, we need to get it, and um, all we need to do is just going to put this instead of whatever we have here. So we have card body. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to push to this code, and if you see, in this also having a uh, glass card which we are using on the top so we can remove this we can use the this class here I just can remove this tape so we have everything fine here so for working to make it working we need to include it as well so we need to include the CDN of it so if I go to the installation so here we have the CDNs for this so I'm just going to copy this code And I'm going to paste this in our layout because uh, if I want to use it on every page, we can do that. So I'm going to just paste in here. Now we are also including Bootstrap. We might not need Bootstrap because we already have Bootstrap on the top. So we can remove that. Other than that, we have the styles for this library. So I'm going to save this. And if I go to our page and refresh, we get the stylish uh, design, but the structure is still big. We, uh, to design, I, we need to correct it a little bit. So we are just putting the card inside the row, and that is causing this design problem. So we need to make it small. We can uh, put a bootstrap class here, ND3, and this inside a row, so it's going to repeat itself. So if I refresh, so you can see that we have uh, 3, 3, 3. It's a 12 uh, block grid in bootstrap, so it's doing that. So if I say margin, one that yeah, looks a little better uh, we will see about the design if uh, something can be done about it but presently what, what I want to do I want to show the movies instead of this content so uh, to do that uh, we have the content already in the article variable so I need to sh uh, see what variables we are getting straight away so I am going to print in here and save that and refresh so we're going to get the content. Now uh, we have our original name. We can copy this content in some file. So what I do is simply get this, paste this, so that we can copy it from here. Now I can remove it. It's not going to cause it. Now if I go to that file here, uh, original name it says, then it says name. So let's put the name there. So we need to say article, and it says original name and name. So uh, we can put a condition, uh, but here, like v if, and inside this condition I can say if article is not 
empty. Then print this. So if I go here and refresh, it is printing in here, not printing in any other. And uh, because uh, there should be another name, so we can put the copy the same line and paste in here. Now you're gonna say the second variable that we had in there is its original name. So let's copy that original name. Uh, it's time to put the so if I go here and refresh. Okay, so we don't have we have name in here. Let's first put all the data because uh, then we have poster path. So poster path, it's going to be path for we have overview. Let's put that. It's going to take some time and there's not any educational so you might to feel like it but right now you can see that it's showing the data all right yeah so what uh, did i put all the variables in here and if you see the code and here and i just take all the variables from here original name uh name vote count and all basically i didn't put the overview because it's the main page all right guys so the data i just showed like this presently all the variables and uh, there is a variable with the poster underscore path which is the image so presently I'm just showing it like this. So I wanted to show you how to display the image on this one. So to display the image, we need to define the source for it. So uh, in the source of image, we're going to use this variable. And uh, when you're going to pass the variable inside it, we are going to um, make the source, uh, we're going to bind it first of all. Because if you're going to pass any variable from UJS into the source, you need to use this bind so that it can recognize it. Now, the next thing we need to do is that we need to say uh, the the name of the property. So the property we're getting is poster underscore path. So I'm going to put in here. So this is how you put the name of it. So if it is going to put it like this, and if I go here and refresh, and if I inspect it, you can see here that we have the image uh, path, but it is not the complete path. So we need to put this. Now if I save it and go here and refresh, it should get the images in full. And you can see that I need to remove uh, this poster path from here. Now, look for Abada. So, this is how it is. So, this is the first page where we are getting this data. Now, we need pagination on this page, and we can remove this as well if we just want to show the content. Let's do that. Uh, for now, I'm just going to uh, cut off this content because this uh, content is not uh, uh, looking that cool. Let's save this and refresh. All right, so we can give margin a little bit, margin bottom, refresh, that looks far better. Now on click we need to go to a single page and also I want to show the pagination. So let's work with the pagination here. And there they say the minimum number of pages is one and maximum is thousand. So we can give our option to one to thousand. Um, that's up to you how much how many you want to display in here so what i do i run a loop and display the pagination so first of all we go to the md bootstrap and i search for pagination copy this code and uh, a code of ours uh, so i just put in here in the pagination so now i'm just gonna make it this way now we have single pa uh, page showing up here. So if I go to the project and have a look, how it looks. So if I go to the bottom, we get uh, one page here at the bottom. This is the way how you include PHP inside Blade. So and PHP. Inside it, we simply define a loop. So $i is equal to zero. $i is less than count. However, it is already so I just want the pages to part there and then dollar i plus plus inside it we need to uh, end the php 
and then start the DHP again. Now inside we can put this link. I just cut it from here and paste inside it here. Now, as we know that the IE is going to increase every time, so we can say here dollar uh, i. So this is the uh, Laravel syntax to display variable. Here we were working with the view variable, so that's that's why we now we are not putting at the rate. Now here in our link, we need to make some changes. So uh, let's say href, and what href going to say? It is going to have a question mark and page equals, and we are going to pass our i in this way. All right, so if I save this and go back to the page and refresh, so let's see what get we get at the bottom. So we get zero, one, oh, one. So we can uh, start it from one and equal to. So it's going to be one to ten. We can increase it if we want to, but for now it is it looks good. So if I go to second page, we get the page two on the top, and if I get to third page, we get page three. But the content is the same, everything is coming the same. I want to update this content. Let present URL. Is this is going to be window dot location. Now I want to show you how it is going to work to console.log as well. So if I go to inspect console.log, it can refresh. You can see we're getting the URL here. So we know that the URL is getting separated by is equal to sign, so we can use that. So in our code, the next thing what I do, I say find this uh, is equal to and break this uh, string. So if I put in here, you can see that. This time we have an array. Array has first value here, and the last value is the number of that particular page. So that means we need to get the last value of this array. To get the last value, it is quite simple. All we need to do uh, data dot length minus one. Now we need to update the page number because right now it is one, but it should update each time. So what I do, I cut this, I put it on the top, and here we say page number is equal to this number. So now page number is going to up get updated, it is going to pass in there, and it should work. So if I copy this page number here to see what we are getting, so if I refresh the page in here, we have page number 3, and you can see the drawer record records are already updating. So if I go to page number 1, it is he's money he's that was here, and my spy, now if I click on second, page 2, we get a different data, go for 4, each time we get the different data. Now we can put the loader as well so that we, when we click this, it uh, loads quickly instead of showing us because when we click new pages, it goes blank. We can show the loader in that big moment for that. We can do that. So right now, while well, pagination is working and uh, we have our uh, maybe showing up, 